think about that when you uh think about that when you think about these kinds of programs that need to be necessitated so shout outs to the wonderful people over at futures first gaming teaming up with tc and j for that like i mentioned my sister's alma mater making me very proud out here to see that the school is doing great things Heck and yeah. even more proud as a commentator to be casting smash at this insanely high of a level we're back to best of five territories Stu. we got rivers best diddy to ever do it we got esam best pika to ever do it <laughs> going up against each other for the best of five losers finals ladies and gentlemen let's do it Woo! absolutely Woo! hey Woo! you know what Woo! there's something this you are excited and i don't blame you rivers uh, you can definitely make the claim that they're one of the better ditties out there jab lock nonsense though from pikachu i don't think you're gonna get much argument in terms of uh Esam being the best Pika out there, but uh, then again, it's always kind of been this point of contention. It's like, hey, what if uh, more people play Pikachu? I feel like there might be a reason that uh, other people don't do that, but we can get into that between games. Right now, we're just going to marvel at what Esam is able to do with this little yellow rodent and uh, showing exactly why people call them the rat as Esam gonna go to the skies. I have never seen a rat fly in Tunis, but prove me, uh, prove me wrong here. <laughs> Clearly, you've never worked in the sewers before. <laughs> Rivers mm. and E Sam against each other now. Fair Trying enough. to spike him with the Thunder Cloud right there. Definitely would have done it for Rivers right there. He wouldn't have had too much time to get back in his barrel pack or charge it enough to be able to make it back if he got hit by that. But Rivers saw it coming from a mile away, of course, wanted to make his way out of that. DIing left to make sure he doesn't get comboed into the Thunder once again. You can tell that move is definitely on the brain, as well as that up air out of the neutral air, sending it the perfect angle for the up air follow up. Looking pretty poised for this first game right now. Rivers has got more experience in this matchup than you think. I'll get into that a little bit more later. Right now, Esam looking pretty poised to take this first game if things keep going this way. Yeah, there were a few. Uh, there are two. There are two Pikachu's that I'm thinking of back in the Smash Four days from Jersey that uh, maybe you might be. Uh, that maybe you might be listing, but nevertheless, uh, Esam. Going to prove that yeah, maybe they, they've reached a slightly higher level than uh, than perhaps those uh, those two have. No disrespect to them, but yeah, it's going to be a whiffed F smash. River is going to jump right on that, quite literally, with the monkey grab. And uh, Esam says, you know what? I can grapple a little bit of my own, and uh, I'm going to try to maintain this ever so slight points lead, though River is... Winning neutral and doing so pretty well, and you always have to be careful when they grab onto the to the nanner at ledge. For sure, my friend, for sure. I mean, hey, you talk about those Pikachus, that's what six extra years of Smash experience will do for you. This guy was the number one uh, Pikachu player throughout pretty much the entirety of Brawl's lifespan, so you know he's got that experience under his belt. River's making more so his debut in Smash 4, and already risen to become one of this game's top players for sure. Dash attack gonna do it for Rivers off the top right there. Esam one more away from taking the first game, but just as I say that, Rivers retaliating immediately and pressing down B again, even though he knows the banana is above him to do Diddy Kong's indirect fourth taunt. The, I don't know, when he throws his hands up, as I like to call it. Oh God. Fair enough. Oh, he definitely does know. I mean, you, know, you just know there's a smug expression on their face when they're saying that, but- Yeah, he gets never... around. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, you've been, you've been there. You've done that. Gotten the T-shirt and are wearing it on the battlefield as we speak, apparently. But going to be a down throw. Esam again with these quick little combos, trying to tack on his little damage, and it's going to be death by a thousand cuts for one of these two competitors. And honestly, just the fact that we're seeing so many of these uh, buttons hit. This goes to show the efficiency of these two players. They know how to tag even the hardest to hit of uh, competitors, but. And uh, not as much of a reliance on Thunder Jolt for me, Sam, as perhaps I would have thought. Yeah, definitely not. I mean, I feel like Rivers is going to be able to intercept that if he does it too much with stuff like the Monkey Flip. Which is ironic, because Pikachu is very similar to Mario in the sense that that move sends it pretty much the exact same angle that Fireball does. Thunder Jolt is basically a Fireball that goes around the stage as well, as well as increases Pikachu's mobility. And that those kind of moves can typically give Diddy Kong a hard time, because he loves to actually play the neutral with you from the mid-range to be able to throw the banana at you from that safe distance. So if you're flying in the air, like just near him or above him or something like that, wave bouncing that move around, to utilize the mobility the best you can. It's not gonna matter as much for Diddy Kong to deal with that. But when you're actually playing in the stage against him, that's where Rivers will actually finally be able to hit you with stuff like landing back airs to be able to take the first game over Esam. Don't be too surprised because none of you know about it. None of you know 
But there's a certain somebody by the name of the Great Gonzalez who has been playing Pikachu quite a lot. That's true. Yep. Mm, just saying right now, none of you are ready for Gons when he comes back. He's picked up a character of degenerate levels you don't even know. Point is, he's been playing with, with Rivers a lot, so he's he's been getting some high-level Pikachu practice and, and uh, advance of this brackets too. Wait, are they in any way related to the uh, to the Game and Watch main YouTube man? Is that in any way uh, a, a, a sort of connected tandem there? Why the very same? Wow, wow that is. Uh, who would have thought? Small world, but. All right, so Pokemon Stadium 2 for game There's number two. There's a guy two. named Atunish who plays Palu. Mmm, gotcha. Small world indeed. Oh, God! Oh, Jesus. All right, okay, yeah, no, good, that was... Good, uh... good, 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 good. <laughs> yeah, I, oh, I was God. reacting to your reaction. Please stop that. <laughs> I was, uh... was going to do it again because I thought Rivers was going to double dip Esam. <laughs> See, I, I was kind of tensing up thinking of the same thing but also your reactions were kind of spiking my anxiety so please stop that anyway <laughs> it's uh yeah monkey kick right into the face of Sam. you got to be able to close down that space especially in the face of something like t Jolt, and definitely uh you might as well be a puppet fighter when you have something like banana in your grasp but certainly you got to be able to cut off Sam's movement and especially when you make them commit to uh to movement options especially that quick attack Anything helps, and certainly that banana is uh, among those little helpful tools. Uh, not going to help you when you're not able to recover, though. Yeah, that was really unfortunate. That forward smash is going to take the stock. Esam played that off the level perfectly. He hit Rivers with just enough of the forward air to make him think that he was going to hit him with every hit of it. But he deliberately fast fell right towards the end of it to not hit him with the last hit, the actual launching hitbox of the move, to make Rivers think that he had to tech. Thus, essentially... Just essentially option selecting Rivers into air dodging to his death right there by making him think he had to tech off the wall. Very smart play by Esam right there. And just an ama just another amazing thing that Pikachu can do, to say the least. Incredibly well done, and honestly, credit to Rivers for being able to bring this back. Gonna get a tilted for their trouble, maybe not quite in that fashion, but the Again. jet barrels, yeah! You, you have to know how to fight Diddy offstage, how to combat those barrels, how to combat all the potential options. And Esam, I mean, luckily you're playing Pikachu, so you don't have to think all that hard about it, but it's still a matter of execution, and Esam has not really failed on that front yet. Definitely not, of course, exploiting Diddy Kong off the level. When he's actually in those rocket barrel packs, it's a whole different story, but when he's charging it, if you're fast enough of a faller and you got lingering hitboxes that are strong and mighty enough to be able to hit him out of those barrel packs, why not? You hit Diddy out of that move, 90% of the time, it's gonna be a oh, dead Kong! No. Oh, the down arrow going not a quite. little too ham, E-Sam. More like E-Ham, or going a little too E-Ham, I should say. Sacrificing that stock for the down air trade. This could be river saving grace here. I don't think they're going to complain about it too much. That pair. Oh, the parry and Esam. Got to make it right back. And. Yeah, I don't know, man. Rivers, right now, just uh, sitting at a really high percentage and not a really able to get away from Pikachu. If nothing else, like, even if you can't get a decisive killing blow, you're just going to get blown up enough to the point where, I mean, I'm, you're just going to be at up throw percentage. And. Yeah. Okay. Now that turns out turns out that's exactly what happened. Uh, e Sam, get out of my head, please, and just take your victory and be happy with it. Truly, the reincarnation of one Charles Xavier, taking a nap on the floor from being so big-brained. Does that head look right there? That's just oh god. It's just like it makes you think you're gonna have to tech something, and then last minute you just don't. I swear to God, it's like. Once again, with the falling back air, it's like there are so many aerials that Esam can just use his imagination with off the level to kill you with. Oh, am I going to hit you with the forward air? Nah. Am I going to fast fall the forward air so you don't have to tech? Yeah. Am I just going to go out and spike you? Yeah. Am I going to do my two other multi-hit drag down aerials to gimp you? Eh. I feel like it. I guess. I don't know. Sure. Whatever. Esam lives off the level, my friends. You're off stage against Pikachu. You better pick a button and press. And then yeah, you, pray. you really don't get much of a choice. Esam has such a way of limiting you. And yeah, the fact that you oh! have that, but the drop after.
after you get off of the ledge, Rivers is going to waste no time. They have a button to pick, and they will do it. As here's a nice little flow chart for you. Pop your head above the ledge and then die. It's just insane how quick Rivers is with though. If you guys want to have some fun, definitely check out some of the DNA.exe VODs that are prior to this tournament over on Master Hand Gaming's channel. If you want to see more of how Rivers is able to just land those downers so quickly and is able to catch the banana mid-jump with them as well, canceling them and then re-grabbing them with the aerial, it's insane how quick he is with, the, with those. It doesn't matter what character you're playing either. He'll go for it, and he'll spike you over and over again. Pikachu, insane offstage presence? I don't care. I'll throw my yeah. fist below the stage and spike you. They're also available right here on the VGBC YouTube page. And yes, I am talking to you in the future. Hi, everyone watching Not Live, but we're going to get the pop gun uh, going. Yeah, facing the wrong way, Sam says, hey, you're not you're not going to want to turn back on, uh, turn your back on me. And going to hit the shield. Rivers trying to jump right in. You can't really establish everything from range. Those pop guns are a nice little bonus if you can get them going. But uh, Sam says, you know what? You're gonna, I'm gonna make you box with me, so have fun trying to punch a rat, especially when I'm jumping around so freely and have such clean movement. I get to dictate your movement, and if you are fortunate enough to hit the banana with me, even then you have to react. Yeah, definitely going insanely high for that one. Why would you not? Potentially no jump off the level. Perfect percentage to get hit by back air strings against Esam right there, against the Pikachu. Why in the damn hell would you not try to go above the cloud if you know that if you know that that's what he's going to be going for? Kamikaze! <laughs> God, no, no, censor that. All right, I don't know. Yeah, if, I don't know if Chris, you're going to be editing these posts like on. That does not belong on video game bootcamp. That's not appropriate for children. All right, YouTube's probably going to flag it. My God, what a disgusting play from Rivers. Kamikaze right into Esam on the platform. No one does it better, man. Nobody does it better. Nice. A sick little Randy Savage reference there, and certainly Rivers proving to be the cream of the crop when it comes to Wi-Fi Diddy, but oh, gonna miss on the smash attack, so why not just go for another uh, easy and point out their inner game and watch, I suppose, there. And, uh, yeah, they, hey, it covers ground, covers your, uh, covers your options, I might as well go for it, and certainly the grab into the thunder, yeah, pop him up, bring him back down, and send him out. A shocking turn of events from Esam. You know, I'm really not sure if Rivers would have been able to DI that to the right instead to try to not get hit by the thunder right there, because that looked like it actually... That borderline looked like it confirmed, just barely. I don't know, maybe if he could have SDI'd the thunder a little bit to try to pop his way out. Either way, it looked pretty true. Not saying it was, not saying it wasn't, but definitely a meaty kill on the part of Esam right there, and it's exactly what he needed to bring this back. I gotta say, Esam is not generally the kind of player that leaves things up to guesswork. So I'm just going to take their word for it. If they went for it, they they probably meant to do that. So yeah. they've uh, they, they've kind of earned that at this point, I'll say. Yeah. And uh, they, I'd say they're good enough. You know, they've won a few PGR events, but River is saying, "Hey, I am more than good enough to take you down." And as we saw that that uh, yellow rat was getting batted around like a pinata, and Rivers, I mean. This is uh, maybe their coming out party, looking for a spot in grand finals and potentially a little bit of revenge against Myron. Gotta think fast, my friends. Gotta think fast. We'll take a look at these plays once again. Oh, God. It's so funny to look at, man, when he goes for that. And we're going to see the successful really? variation of it right here. Losing a little bit of patience with those Thunder Jolts. Nah, I play fast, my friend. You're trying to camp me with those... <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah. trying to camp me with those? That's funny. Let's take a look at the confirm again. That looked pretty true. I'm not going to lie. I mean, at the very least, if he DI'd left, that's what I mean by true. I mean, with that DI, I suppose. So, not true. I take all that back. I just, my poor choice of words on, on my part, I apologize. And poor choice of DI on Esam right there, dying from that down throw to the back air. That's not something that should be killing Pikachu from that distance, or anybody from that distance, really, but hey. Yeah, not quite there, right? Yeah, not but quite there, but Rivers is amazing at catching you off guard with his combo throws. He knows the DI traps. Exactly. No, I mean, that's the uh, that's the thing. Playing optimally is the surefire way to get your opponent guessing as to what you are going to do, and... That's going to be a uh, it's going to be game three victory, well earned by Rivers, who again is one game away from uh, potentially avenging 
their winner's semifinal loss at the hands of Myron by a score of two to one. This would be their first best of five set today that they're playing here against Esam. Uh, well, beating this Pikachu, not exactly a formality in of itself, Nintunis. This, uh, yeah, and Esam is showing it right here. They're going to have to earn their victory. These jet barrels, though, my gosh. What do you, how do you, as that on Smash takes the stock, how do you feel when you get hit and then while you are in hit stun, you're able to clear your way back to the level and not get edge guarded? How many other characters can do that? Oh, man. Uh, th that's, a, that's a depressing thought as uh, <laughs> someone who plays Falcon. I don't really want to think about that. It really so. is the planet of the apes, isn't it? Oh, my gosh. Supposedly. Either Somebody way. Calls uh, so, down tilt, and again, man, Esam going crazy with the buttons. Sitting there with three stocks. Going to get caught with the banana, but not a whole lot that Rivers could do about that. Trying to react to a roll in on the up smash. But, yeah, if you're getting Rivers guessing, this is generally where you want to be if you're Esam. You get to, you know, you get to harness the dissonance that uh, you have uh, that you have created in this situation. Esam right now, looking to be cruising, lives to 160%. I don't think you're complaining right now if you're Panda Global's Esam. I don't think so, especially when you're not up by as much percent as you are right here. He's going to try and start camping with those Thunder Jolts a little bit again. River's definitely a not no percent for the Kamikaze this time around, especially with the Barrel Packs not at play and a beautiful space forward smash on the part of Esam, safely and securely using that forward smash to make sure he doesn't get punished, even if he whiffs by the ledge right there. I'm pretty sure that even if you time the neutral get up properly, you still are not going to be able to punish that out of the corner. It just has too much uh, shield stun and too little lag, I should say. One of the many amazing things about Pikachu as a character. Beautiful banana toss right there as a pure bait to get Esam to approach him right there. Chucking out the banana, deliberately Ooh. not getting the banana to bait Esam to approach him. And look at that, Ripper's got the kill off of that. So Yeah, big just, just like that, Ripper's taking Esam to their tournament stock, but Esam... Quickly making up for uh, quickly making up for lost ground, putting 40 points of damage on in the interim. Rivers, however, I mean, just even these little things to keep Esam at bay to put them uh, just past the center of the stage. There's little things that they can do to maybe uh, keep the rat in a state of discomfort. But Esam says, "No, I live in chaos. I will read your movement and." All that time, I was talking up how Rivers, you know, potentially had the, uh, you know, potentially had a way back into this one. Esam, uh, they were looking none too uncomfortable at any point in that set. And yeah, that was just the first up smash that we just saw there. Bro, it's like, we'll, we'll take a look at these plays again. But is, is LeVar Burton on Jeopardy yet? Because that was a reading rainbow, like through and through. That was like textbook read. My god, I mean, we'll take a look at this beautifully spaced forward smash once again, and the way that Rivers was able to secure this once again off of the reverse banana toss off the level. Beautiful stuff to just bait him to approach for that forward smash, and we need to take a look at this again. Yes. Chase down with the up air, misses the up air, and then covers his bases. We'll take a look at it again. Oh, I whiffed? Nah. Yeah, no. Oh. Baited that out perfectly, and yeah, the, real, the roll in will often kill you. Esam playing a character that has the quickness to take advantage of that, and here we go. What more appropriate place to finish this off than Town and City, a stage that Rivers uh, quite likes, and Esam can certainly take advantage of as the rat. And we're getting right into it. It is not going to, it might just be a quicker game than maybe a stage like Town and City would suggest. Yeah, you know, you would think. You would think, but the stage is so polarizing in the sense that you will have games either rush down on here or you'll have them be like at a snail's pace depending on the kind of characters they are no oh, oh, oh that was filthy he, he almost rivers river he almost reversed rivers he loves yeah. rivers loves to do that he's done it to people plenty of times and every time he does you know you know there's a certain nj smash player that's having a heart attack <laughs> somewhere like, i feel disturbance of the force Whatever that happens, because he hates this stage, that's for sure. But anyway, this stage is so polarizing for that reason, man. Just You can either camp on it or you can rush down on it. All depends on the matchup. 
Yeah, I can never quite tell when you make a Glentendo joke, but I will... Uh, well, it's not talking I, about Glenn. I will tell you time. later. <laughs> this time. Yeah, not this time, no. Yeah, yeah. The, it is either you're talking about Glentendo or not. It's a 50-50. Pretty much. It's, it's, it's like Game & Watch is 9. It's like Game & Watch is Hammer. You either get a 9 or you don't, so it's 50-50. When it comes to complaining about Smash, that's, that's a pretty accurate statement. Fair enough, but yeah, you complain about that monkey grab, why don't you? That's going to be stock number one taken off of Esam. However, Esam looking to match it. You've got the combos to do it, and yeah, again, spike him into the ground and hit him with a bolt of lightning. And Esam trying to bring the shock of lightning into grand finals. These two uh, citizens of the state of Florida trying to take on uh, their fellow one, Myron, in grand rivers. Right now at an ever so slight advantage, but they really have to start winning these ground game interactions because Esam is just eating them alive right now. Yeah, it's definitely no good. The counter pick of Rivers working oh, against him. On. We got some good old fashioned melee jabbing right here. Shout outs to the Pokemon Stadium rock transformation. Shout outs to Axe for sure. Oh, trying to get some early kills right there and gonna do it again. No, good on Esam. Prepared for it after that first down air attempt. Ironically, Rivers is Aggressive coverage actually working against him right there. Oh my god, again! Yeah. You're in Oh, but no! Doesn't no. have the distance on the jet barrels to make it back from that deep. Oh, that's a fine time for the jet barrels to betray Rivers. Just a little too much distance to cover. And just like that, it's Rivers on their tournament stock. Esam at 82%. This is still very much doable, but the way that Esam has been winning these interactions just 1v1 on open ground. I mean, the time is running out for Rivers here. Yeah, you see him go for that banana confirm, even though he didn't land the banana in the first place. It's funny, because, you know, this is Rivers' counterpick kind of working against him right here on that part. Now he's going for Reach, just like Esam got him with in that, uh, in that fourth game. It's rough here, because you figured that he, this stage would be good! Oh, oh no! No! For the it, wrong Rivers, reasons. Rivers died out, and... That is the Rivers special working against its perpetrator. Nevermore Rivers, a fine performance to get into game five, but that was ultimately how it would end. And we're going to see here one, two, and three successive stocks taken by Panda Global's ESAM. And that would wind up being it. This is such a funky stock loss here because... I mean, yeah, pop him up, and then the thunder, it sends him the wrong way. This is... That's, that's the tournament for Rivers. What that's else can rough. you say? That's rough, man. He definitely expected to be launched left out of that, but you could tell if you look at the frames. He, I don't know if he did it on purpose, but when he was in the hit lag, specifically of the thunder, he was actually towards the right of Pikachu, and that is why he got sent right. Even though just a couple of frames beforehand, it looked like he was on the left of it. If you take a look at it yourself, frame by frame, you will see that when he got shocked, he was just to the right of Esam, and that is why he got sent to the right instead, but it was too quick to see.